what is preventing most people from moving in the direction that they want to move is a lack of discipline. And no one wants to hear that answer. It's the harshest answer. Yeah. This is hard work, it's every day. When they see that word discipline, it's actually slapped in the face because they know it's true. If you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it, that's the most powerful thing in the world. What are you gonna get without discipline? Are you gonna be in good physical shape without no. discipline? Are you gonna be financially successful without discipline? No. Are you gonna are what? you gonna become more intellectually powerful without discipline? You're gonna see me for who I am. Because I need to change who I'm not. Discipline is the root of all good qualities. If you want to make progress in your life, you gotta have discipline. Discipline equals freedom. You want freedom in your life? You want to achieve what it is you want to achieve? How do you do that? You do it through discipline. You do it through hard work. You do it by knowing what it is you're supposed to do and, and then doing actually it. doing it. <laughs> yeah. You have to face yourself. What am I going to do today to change what I see in this mirror? It starts with yourself, man. Through hard work, you can outwork anybody. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to be extreme in my discipline. Somebody asked me that on social media. How do you master discipline? I'm like, you don't. You don't. You keep working at it though. Every day. Yes. It takes power. It takes effort. It takes discipline to break the old you. What gives you confidence is not being afraid. It's overcoming the fear. There's no one in the world that enjoys taking criticism. It's in the discomfort zone is where my confidence is getting built. The tougher things you go through, the more confidence you're going to have, the more confidence you have, the better you're going to get. But I'm going to work and try and make myself yeah. better. And that's the mentality you have. A lot of us who are afraid of something, we allow our minds to choose the path that least resistance so we go a different route. What I did was what I knew how to do, which was work. You figure it out by going inside yourself. Because being a warrior takes a whole different mindset. That's what I'm going to do. When I was a little tiny kid, you know, five, six, the only thing I can remember was wanting to be some kind of commando. There was no, there was not a question for me. I knew what I wanted to do. I never thought about quitting at any mm -hmm. moment in really? time. SEAL teams is, is going to war. That's what we do. You're lucky that you don't have to think like warriors think. You're very privileged. I chose this world to be a warrior and I, would, and I would choose it again if I came back to this world. But the mentality of a warrior is very different than the normal mentality. You must be that person on that door, get ready to open it, thinking to yourself, if I die, so be it. Because being a warrior takes a whole different mindset. And, and the fact of the matter is, Bullets don't have your name on it. Bullets say to whom it may concern. And the bullet doesn't care who you are. They don't care how much training you've had. They don't care how well prepared you are. And if it's your day, it's your day. And so I think once you get to a point where you recognize and accept the fact that you could, you could die, then you can move past that. That's a really high percentage of people that quit, but there's also people that fail. We have the ability to go in such a space if you're willing to suffer, and I mean suffer, your brain and your body, once connected together, can do anything. When you're driven, whatever's in front of you will get destroyed. I was just a scared kid that found drive and passion to be something much better than what he thought he was. And that's why I talk about the warrior mentality. The only way you can go in that door is knowing there's a great chance you're gonna die. I worry about missing out on opportunities that I have because I got friends that will never get the chance to execute on opportunities because they didn't come home. And, and that's literally what I told my guys was we've, we've crossed the line and there's no, there's no possible way to replace or describe or overcome the amount of just heart-wrenching sadness that you feel when you lose a teammate. I didn't know what to do. And I didn't know what to say. First time, second time, 
the third time, what I did was, and I told my guys, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. The only thing that I know to do is to go back to work. And I do know this, if Mark was here, he would want us to go back to work. And so we're going to lock and load our weapons and we're going to go do what we do. That's the reality of, of combat. When you see people in these hard situations, that's when human nature gets revealed. And the more you can understand human nature, the better leader you're going to be. There's only one type of human being that can't improve as a leader. And that's the, that's the person that lacks humility. Because when someone lacks humility, you can't teach them. A leader has to be balanced. The older I get, the less I know. One of the things that I realized in a leadership position yeah. is that the words that you say matter, the actions you take matter. People are listening, people are watching, people are respecting or disrespecting you based on how you carry yourself. Relationships and trust are almost the same word, right? A relationship is something that we've built trust. Now you can have a bad relationship and what does that mean? That means there's no trust there. I don't trust you, we have a bad relationship. The way I build trust with people is I give them trust. That's how I build trust. I give it. I give trust to build trust. If I micromanage you and I don't let you make any decisions yourself, well, you're never going to step up and learn how to lead because you don't get to make any decisions for yourself. Would you rather win or be like? Well, I'm going to tell you those aren't opposites. The team that likes each other, they win. I'm trying to take the lessons that I was lucky enough to learn and get them to as many people as I can so they don't yeah. have to suffer through the same mistakes that I made. I mean, you're always going to have regret. You, you know, I don't spend a lot of time with regret. That's good. You know, because there's there's not much that you can do about it. Yeah. So what what the way I look at regret is what did I learn from it? What, what did I learn from whatever thing I'm looking at that I know I could have done a better job, could have done different? There's a million things like that, but I don't sit there and think about them all day long. What I think is like, hey, here's the lessons that I learned from them. I will make those mistakes again and move forward. Every single day for me, it starts at gr you know ground zero. I, I've got to I've got to. Go forward with an open mind, with a humble mind, looking at the world. When somebody gives you feedback, you listen to it. Number one, you got to be humble. And if you're not humble, you're not looking for feedback and you're not listening to it. No feedback, no improvement. Feedback is, is built upon being humble. Everything that I look at, I try and look at from a humble perspective. It's just, and if you don't do that, it's going to mm. be a problem. Oh, yeah. If I'm looking down the sights of my weapon and I'm shooting, my world is this big. The minute that I stop shooting, point my weapon at high court, take a step back and actually look around, I can see infinitely more. Eventually you got to start doing it. As a leader, you should be listening 98% of the time and talking 2% of the time. Mm -hmm. We watch those who work. We're motivated by those who work, but we never put in the work. If you're going to conquer your day, conquer your week, nobody is going to outwork you. From this moment on, I need you to give it everything you have.